Hi there. If you're a real estate agent looking to make Notion your CRM, I'm going to be showing you my personal setup for my CRM within Notion. So let's get started. This is a part of my Ultimate Agent Hub, a template that I've created, which you can check out in the link below. So I'm going to go into my buyer CRM. If I go into one of these, um, one of these buyers, so there are a number of criteria here that we can edit under each buyer's profile. We can edit the source of the lead, which is very important when tracking where your leads are coming from, especially at the end of the year. You kind of want to look at where did the majority of your leads come from, and you may choose to double down on that in the following year um, when you're improving your business from year to year. So the source of the lead, the status, so where are they in the home buyer process? I have a bunch of them here, which um, which I can switch to back and forth depending on where they are um, in their in their process. Email, phone, next follow up date, which, as I mentioned, is very important to always keep up to date. So, um, obviously, this is an example, but here, let's say I really wanted to follow up with this person next week. So then I would change the date here. And then on December 20th, um, within my home dashboard, it would show up on that date because I need to follow up with, with this buyer on that date. I have to buy or to rent, the person's budget, the type of property, the location, number of beds and baths, the timeline, their current address, um, in case we need to send them anything via mail, their family members, birthday, which will automatically calculate how old they are and will calculate their next birthday. You can also inc include here who the mortgage broker and who the lawyer that they are working with is. Um, and then these will populate once we have a, to a purchased property. So I'll show that to you in a second. Let's say I follow up with this buyer today and I want to write a note about my follow-up. So, okay. So then every time I make a note, it will indicate what day and time I wrote the note. So you don't have to keep track of the time and dates where you are writing your notes within each person's file, you have them automatically all there. And they'll be in, in chronological order. So let's say now this buyer has purchased a property. So I would indicate here what the address of the property is that they have purchased. So let's say I put four, um, Norris Avenue, 4 Norris Avenue. Okay, now if I open 4 Norris Avenue, I'm going to indicate here the firm sale price. So let's say they purchased it for $515,000. The commission percentage, so this would be how much of the commission are you getting as, as the buyer's representative? as the buyer's agent. So let's say I'm getting 2% commission and my split within my brokerage or within my team, depending on what your situation is, is 70%. So this will calculate automatically how much my commission is. I can also include what date the property sold firm and what the closing date is. And you'll see here that the related buyer is still Brad. So the same person um, from which, from from where I I created this transaction. So if I go back to Brad's profile, I will see here the property purchased as well as the total commissions, which has been calculated again from that transaction that we have just created. That's essentially it for tracking what's going on with a specific buyer. Um, I just want to show you different views that you can also create or include within your CRM uh, on Notion. So here I've just filtered out anyone that is an active buyer. So let's say now I want to change this status to sale has been closed and paid. So I'm no longer working with this buyer um, at this time. They have purchased their property. So I'm going to 
I'm going to indicate here, sale closed and paid. And you'll see that it disappears from this view on this database. So these will really just include your active buyer leads. Anyone that is a past client or uh, for whom their purchase has been completed, they will not appear in this view. However, I can go into all buyer contacts. So any contacts that I've worked with in the past in terms of buyers will appear here. So this, this is not filtered. This just includes everyone that I've ever worked with. I can also view by status. Here, when I go by status, I'll see it. Um, it's like a Kanban board where I can move them around into their respective status. So here, you'll see that I just moved Brad into the sale closed and paid. He was in the actively searching column before. So if I move him into this column, you'll see here, again, that he shows up here under actively searching. So, so just so you understand that each of these views are connected. If I go into follow-up calendar, this is a calendar where you will see a buyer's name based on when the next follow-up date is. And again, these are all connected. So if I move Tom Hanks's follow-up date, I can move him into the 15th of December. And then again, if I open him up, we'll see that his next follow-up date has been changed to December 15th. Okay. So that's what's super cool about Notion. You can view your information in a variety of different ways, which I think is super powerful um, for keeping track of things, depending on what you're looking for. Are you looking for the next follow-up date? Are you looking for what the status is and, and you know who you want to be looking to follow up with? Um, do you want to see what source your buyers came from? So then here, also like the other board that we were looking at, you can move them around, right? But this is just so you have a visual of who's coming from each lead source, which is really good to know when you're wanting to optimize your business. Um, let's see what else we have here. So I've also made a calendar with the upcoming birthdays. So if there is a birthday, you'll see it appear here basically, and you'll have the, the date the, the birth date, as well as their age, their current age. And I think the last one would be just past and archived buyers. So anyone that is a past buyer would appear here just so um, if, if ever I need to, to refer to those buyers specifically. And that's pretty much it. I can show you briefly my seller CRM, but it's essentially the same thing. There's just one small difference, which is that the seller CRM will have a property associated to it. So, so this um, links to that transaction database, which I was referring to previously. So each of these sellers does have a transaction already associated to it because there is a property already associated to each seller. Of course, we don't yet know what the commission or firm sale price will be, but once we populate those, then um, the net commission will be calculated. Um, okay, and the other difference with the seller CRM is that we have a, just down here a gallery of active listings, which I, um, which basically is a filtered view of this same database, but it only displays the properties that have the status of live listed for sale. So those properties appear here. And the way that I have an image populating, and, and they're in a gallery view, if you want to select, um, if you want to choose which type of view, so you would choose gallery here. And the way that I have an image here is that I have basically a cover photo for each of these. Each of these um, sellers have a cover photo and I've just put random photos, but you can put uh, photos of the property that they are selling. And again, you don't need to update these whatsoever. They are linked automatically to these sellers 
that have a property listed for sale. And I guess I'll show you one last thing, which is the transaction manager. Just so you get a better understanding of these are all the transactions. So some of these are actual are sellers and these some of these are buyers, right? So and then once we have a firm sale price, again, we would include it here. So if you see the one that we just made for Brad, it appears right here. And what's cool about this is that because you have the net commission calculated for each of these transactions, of course, you don't have one for the properties that are not yet sold. Um, but once you have those commissions in here, it'll actually give you a sum of all of the commissions that you have here. And what you can do is create filters or different views with different filters that separate these per year, right? So this way you can visualize how many, you can visualize what commission you're making on any given year. So this one I made for closing in 2022, you can create a, or you can copy this and create one for closing in 2023. So I put, I created a rule which says closing is within January 20, January 1st, 2022 to December 31st, 2022. Okay. Um, you can view them by just firm transactions, closing within the next month as well, which is similar. I just made a rule which uh, where closing is within the next month, right? So that's it. If you have any questions about creating a CRM for your real estate business within Notion or about anything else that I have created within my Notion dashboard, feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to connect with colleagues in the real estate world. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers.